In this lesson, I'll give you challenge two as continuation of challenge one we discussed in last lesson. In challenge one, we saw that we could find the area of convex polygon only, and the develop algorithm didn't work for the concave polygon. There are two major parts of this challenge. The first is to find the type of the polygon from the vertices attribute that it is convex, concave, or complex, and then the second part is to develop the algorithm for area of any simple polygon, both convex and concave. So let's first discuss the algorithm to differentiate between convex, concave, and complex polygon. To differentiate between a simple and complex polygon, we need to check the line intersections. For example, this polygon is complex because line number two and line number four are intersecting. So we'll have to first develop a method to find if two line segments are intersecting or not. So you can search for that, and you'll definitely find the way. The important thing to be careful is. that you should search for intersection of line segments and not the lines because lines can grow on both ends while the line segments are fixed on both ends once you develop this method you need to apply that intelligently to determine if it is a complex polygon for example see the polygon on right side where lines are also labeled for example l1 is line between point 1 and point 2 and so on the other lines if you will check intersection of line 1 and line 2 it will come true as both are intersecting at point number 2 but this doesn't make polygon a complex polygon so all consecutive lines will definitely be intersecting with each other and we should not check those so the first check will be between line number 3 and line number 1 so you should build the algorithm by checking falling intersections l3 intersecting with l1 or not then check l4 intersecting with l2 and l1 then check for l5 with l3 l2 and l1 and then check l6 with l4 l3 l2 and l1 but if you see line number 6 is the last line and it will be connected with line number 1 so we should not check last line intersection with line number 1 so here is the complete algorithm start with l3 and for each li check these intersections li with li minus 2 then li with li minus 3 and so on till li with l1 and if li is the last line of the polygon skip check for li with l1 and if any intersection is found the polygon is a complex polygon now let's see how we can differentiate between a convex and concave polygon one way can be finding the interior angles of the polygon in case of convex polygon for example the one on the left side all interior angles always are less than 180 or maximum it can be 180 While in case of concave polygon, for example, the one on the right side, there will be at least one interior angle greater than 180. So finding all interior angles can be one way to differentiate between the two. There is another way also, and it is up to you to use any of the two, or even you can explore some other method. In second way, we consider each line as a vector, and then find the cross products of the consecutive pairs of the vectors. For example consider just the point 1 2 and 3 from this polygon and they are shown on the left side the first vector v1 is from point 1 to 2 and second vector v2 is from point 2 to 3 to find the cross product of the two vectors the tails of both must coincide so we can move v2 there so now if we find the direction of v1 cross v2 you can apply the right hand rule and the resultant is directed outward from the plane of the polygon Now we need to check the directions of cross products of all other consecutive vector pairs. So the next would be for point two, three, and four, and they are shown on the left side as vector v two and v three. We want to find direction of v two cross v three. So we'll move v three, and again apply the right hand rule, and you will see that the resultant of v two cross v three is directed outwards. We need to repeat this for next pairs. Please focus on the right side. where vectors are labeled on polygon as v1 to v2 3 and so on we need to start this process on the first two and we found that the cross product is directed outward we also found that the cross product of next pair is also directed outwards then we have to pick the next pair and please verify by yourself that their cross product is also directed outwards then for the next pair and again the cross product is directed outwards and then please do not forget this last pair which is the last and the first vector and again the cross product is directed outward and all cross products directed outwards is one indication that the polygon is a convex polygon so let's formulate the algorithm to differentiate between convex and concave polygon 
we will find all cross products and if all are positive meaning that they are directed outwards the polygon is convex polygon now let's see another scenario this is the polygon we discussed earlier and this one on left side is another polygon the difference is the order of the vertices on left polygon the order of vertices is clockwise while the order is anti clockwise for the polygon on right side so if you repeat the same procedure of finding the cross products for the polygon on the left side you will see that all cross products result into vectors directed into the plane of the polygon so let's update our rule as if all cross products are positive or all are negative the polygon is a convex polygon i will recommend here to check this method on a concave polygon and you will see both positive and negative cross products in that case now let's see yet another case of convex polygon where you can see two adjacent lines are exactly in line and i hope you know that the cross products of two parallel vectors is zero so in this case v3 4 cross v4 5 will not be positive but zero so we should further update our rule as if all cross products are positive or zero or all cross products are negative or zero the polygon is a convex polygon so the overall algorithm to differentiate between complex convex and concave polygon will be something like this now let's see the second part of the challenge about the area of the convex or concave polygon there is an algorithm known as shoeless algorithm that can be used for this you need to provide all vertices of the polygon and this algorithm will calculate the area of the polygon whether it is convex or concave you can very easily find help on this algorithm to summarize for this challenge you need to search for a few things you need to find a method to check if two line segments are intersecting then you need to find the method to find the cross products of two vectors formed by three points and then develop the algorithm we discussed to find if polygon is complex and finally you need to find the shoeless algorithm for the area of the polygon to be a good developer it is also a very necessary skill to search the existing solutions for some problem you find multiple solutions and you should learn to know the best for you and most importantly how to tweak that as per your requirements to make it get fit into your program so i hope you will learn many things while doing this challenge i have created the basic skeleton of this challenge program where you need to complete the incomplete blocks i am using shape to indicate the type of the polygon because as you know we have a built in function named as type in python you can use type instead of shape as it is just a property of a class but i'll prefer to use shape for this moreover you can define other methods to support the logic of incomplete code i hope you will enjoy solving this challenge and i will also provide a document with different test cases so that you can verify your algorithm on those test cases that's all from this lesson thanks for watching